Please, yeah? oh, so first class lunch. Yes. Malaysia Airlines operate two daily flights between London and Kuala Lumpur. The airline runs its own Golden Lounge at Heathrow Airport Terminal 4. The lounge has separate first and business class sections. The first class section was very quiet during my visit. And rich Platinum Frigate Flyer and One World Emerald Frigate Flyer also have access to the first class section. The lounge offers plenty of food choices with both Malaysian and continental dishes. In addition, it also has a la carte dining. There's a full service bar in the middle. I was very impressed about the floor to ceiling glass which come with the great apron view. I was so lucky to have a sunny morning that morning in London. Have you ever flown Malaysia Airlines before, Sam? I have great memories of Malaysia Airlines. I used to fly Malaysia Airlines 747-400. Yeah. Um, back when I was living in Australia, I still even remember the flight number to Sydney, MH122 and MH123. Yes, right. um, the time was maybe 10, 12 years ago when they first got the new first class business class cabin. Um, lots and lots of great memories. The best two things with Malaysia Airlines, I think, it was the satay on board and the Malaysian hospitality. It's been a while I haven't flown Malaysia Airlines mm -hmm. and believe me or not, Malaysia Airlines has the A350 in particular yep. is the most requested airplane uh, from my followers, from my fans. They want me to review, they want me to make a video on board. Do you like some of the cocktail? This is the menu? This is the menu? This is the menu. Okay, I'd like to try this N350. Okay, the N350. Well, guys, this is really Malaysia. As Malaysia as you can get in London, probably. You get this long term soup, the meat go around, the lassi namak, and the curry puff. Guys, I don't think it gets more authentic than this. You probably, this is the best uh, Malaysian restaurant in uh, London. The lounge also maintains separate toilet and bathroom facility. In addition, it also offers separate prayer rooms. Thank you so much. Have a nice flight. Thank you. Selamat Hello. Hello. Selamat Nice to meet you all. Hi. How are you doing? Hi. How are you doing? Hi. Yeah, Hi. How are you doing? Come on in. They show you to the seat. So what's special about Malaysia Airlines A350? Yes, it has a separate first class section with just four seats in this mini cabin. As far as I'm aware, Malaysia Airlines is the only airline currently operate first class on the A350. Good morning, Sam. I'm David, I'm your leading steward. Can I give you a tour on the new A350? Sure, I'd love to. This is our forward section of new business class. We've got two sections over here. Oh, it's beautiful. And I've got the second section, the off section of business class. So how many business class seats in total do you have? Um, a total of 35. 35. Forward and up. Uh-huh. So this is a quieter section, I yeah, think. this is the off section of it. Okay, row number nine. Massive leg row on this row. And welcome to um, economy. We have got 27 seats, three rows of extra leg room. From row 12, 14, and 15. Oh, these are extra this leg the, room. Yep, yeah, the PEY. And the rest is on the economy. And we've got two sections of it. The forward will have 11, 111 seats, and the aft section will have 136 seats. A total of 247. The best seats in business class, in my opinion, are the solo bulkhead seats, which is seat 2A, 2K, 9A, and 9K. Hello, Hello Captain. Salamat Hi. Hi. Hi, Hi, Captain. Hi, how are you doing, Captain? Captain cool. Hi. I introduce you to my team, it's Captain Samsuri. Oh, yes. We have a double set of crew today. Yeah, yes. Hello. Hi. It's my pleasure to on board and flying with you, Captain. Captain Ku, um, would you mind to explain today um, what's the routing and flight time today from London to Kuala Lumpur? Of course, everyone. Uh, first of all, welcome aboard. Uh, this is our uh, brand new uh, 
family of aircraft from Malaysia Airlines, uh, Airbus 350 900 series. Uh, today we are operating a flight from uh, London Heathrow to uh, KLIA. MH3. The flight time is 12 hours and 10 minutes. Good tailwind for our departure today. And departing out of 27 left of Heathrow. Uh, routine today will take us uh, out of uh, UK uh, eastbound towards uh, Germany and then uh, Eastern Europe and across to Iran towards uh, Middle East and across the Indian continent before arrival into uh, Kuala Lumpur. Uh, cruising initially uh, 35,000 with our present weight. Our economic uh, cruising speed for this aircraft is about uh, Mark Decimal 85, uh, which is going to give us about almost a thousand kilometers an hour today with a good tailwind. <laughs> Bye! Tuan-tuan dan perempuan, penampangan kita MH3 ke Kuala Lumpur akan bersedia berlepas sebentar lagi. Ladies and gentlemen, our flight MH3 to Kuala Lumpur is ready for departure. This is our signature WOW drink. The What's the name of the signature? Uh, WOW. WOW. Oh, WOW. This is WOW. Okay, WOW. The first impression on the uh, Malaysia Airline First Class A350, the seats are very private. The walls are pretty tall and uh, you know, I'm enjoying it so far. Extra large for me, yes. Yeah. Yes, that's the only size fits me. <laughs> Alright. Alright. Wow, it's beautiful. Look at this. Okay, thank you very much. This is a very handy bag, so I'm going to go change to the pajama now, okay? Hi! I changed. Uh, it's very, very light and very comfortable, but uh, I'm so embarrassed. This extra large is getting really, really tight on me. There's plenty of storage space here. This is one very big storage space. I put my shoes inside and my clothes inside. And the second here is a bit more private, right next to my arm, which, you know, I got all my passport, my GoPro, all my little stuff here. It, a huge, again, huge storage space and a mirror. <laughs> you can see me in the mirror. I mean, this is why I love flying about. It's uh, somehow I was being able to be more myself during in the air than on the ground.
welcome to economy class. Today we have two choices for lunch. First choice will be the ayam masam merah with tomato flavored rice. Wow, looking good. Yeah, here we got the um, smoked salmon with potato salad, the passion fruit mousse, some cheese and crackers, and of course the bread roll. And the other choice we have the um, seafood spaghetti with salmon and white fish. Okay, Sam, currently in business class, we are carrying out our satay service where satay has been a signature dish with Malaysia Airlines for so many years since the day it started and it's one of the best in all the world. You should try it. So, yeah, you join us for satay? Please, yeah, a mixture of both beef uh, and chicken for you? Just chicken. Just chicken for you. Okay, okay extra one. Sure, yeah. certainly. <laughs> it's everyone's favorite dinner. Yeah. <laughs> should I like to have the sauce on top of it? Yeah, okay. Extra sauce. Yeah, extra sauce. they love the extra <laughs> sauce, don't they? Okay. Cheers, okay. So you enjoy your satay. Thank you so much. You're all welcome. This is amazing. Really amazing satay. Fantastic. You can dine anytime in first class according to your preference. There are no shortage of food according to the menu. I was very, very happy with the food and beverage Malaysia Airlines offering in the first class. Apart from the best satay on earth, they also serve caviar with all the garnishing with a pearl spoon. The presentation was fantastic with edible flour on ice cubes. I'm glad to see Malaysia Airlines keeps up the first class caviar tradition. For main course, I tried a Malaysian dish. I was so full after, so I skipped the dessert. This is Dagi Masa Ketchup, which is actually a slow cooked beef. But let me tell you, that flavor inside your mouth is burst. That flavor was awesome. It was slightly spicy, but very flavorsome. And it comes with the rice and the vegetable condiment. But this is terrific. This is truly Malaysian dish. Oh yeah, this is really this huge, good leg room here. So where are you from? I'm uh, I'm from Malaysia originally, but I live in London. Wow! So that's why you fly London, Malaysia. No, at the moment I'm uh, on my way to Shanghai. Ah. So I thought I'll drop in in Kuala Lumpur, and then uh, from there I fly to Shanghai. Hey, you, uh, you're good. You have uh, loyalty with Malaysia Airlines. Uh, okay. I've always flown Malaysia Airlines for many many years because my parents were in Malaysia, so I tend to fly to Malaysia, and uh, I found the. The seating in the Malaysian Airlines is a lot more comfortable than the other airlines. And it's direct flight, so why take any other flights when Malaysian Airlines is just as good as any other? But I, I, honestly, I want to tell you, this is enormous. The yes, and, uh, and I looked at the seat pitch and so on in Malaysian Airlines economy. It's a bit too narrow. I'm six feet three. Yeah. I'm almost yeah. you know, 189. You're taller than me, yes. Yeah. So for me, that additional space made a lot of sense. Let's say, so a small amount to pay. The additional amount made a lot of difference. Oh, for you me. you pay for this. This is yes. not free. This yeah, is this is not free. Was, okay, no, it's, it's, an, it's, it's an additional uh, payment just for additional leg room. Wow. How much extra you think this uh, costs more it's, than it's, economy? Uh, it's fifty-five pounds more each way. Fifty-five pounds more. Yeah, which is Only which is five pounds for thirteen hours. Yes, yeah, wow. which is very comfortable, and I I was very surprised the first time I've been in this time, and uh, usually I try business class or I fly upper deck and this is fantastic. Right. Yeah. I'm going to take you to first class. I'm going to show you this. This is the A350 as, yeah. you, uh, yeah. as you have seen here. Yeah. So I'm going to take you there and then show you the 350, see what you think. This is very comfortable. Very good, huh? This is good because it's for people like all like me. This very long, huh? There is enough room for me this to is see long. Yeah. you see? This yeah. is yes. Uh, Gucci? Yes. 
Dr. Guja, he's the medical director uh, of Prince Scott in the hospital, right? Yes, hospital in Kuala Lumpur. Yeah. So he's a frequent flyer on Malaysia Airlines. So I think his opinion is actually worthwhile to hear. Right. See, A350 has got its perks. You've got a high roof, you've got a fantastic lighting system. When you sleep at night, lights are made dim or total darkness with a little bit of ambient light. But when they get back into light, when lights are switched on, the lights are switched on in a gradual effect. Lighter, then slightly brighter, and then you get total brightness, which is very good. As a medical doctor, medically it's fantastic. If you have such kind of lighting system in any aircraft. Food is fantastic. The hospitality is, is Malaysian hospitality. You cannot go wrong with that. Yeah. The seats in these configurations are a little bit small. Mm -hmm. I'm a six-footer, yeah. and it's a little bit tight. I see. When you compare to to the other business class aircraft that I've sat in before. Have you sat in the solo seats like I've before? sat, yes, I've sat. Maybe there's a little bit more comfortable. A little bit more room. A little bit more comfortable. Uh -huh. Hi Smilo, this is my favorite drink in Malaysia. This is so nice to know. Malaysia Airlines have my favorite drink on board. show you is an all-time Malaysian favorite hot beverage where it could be from morning, afternoon, evening or even night for supper. It's tea tari. But what we have here is an instant tea tari. It's a bit much more simpler compared to the original one where you have to do a lot of preparation. So mm. I'm going to accept your challenge. Yeah. I'm going to prepare tea tari and then I'm going to challenge you to challenge me in a tea tari. All right the challenge is on. Yeah. Small freezing, and we add up some hot water. Let's, I'm going to stir it to even out all the powder first. Let's add on a bit more hot water. Oh. What I'm going to do? Oh my god! This is what we call tintare, or in direct translation, it's called poti. <laughs> poti. Yeah. yeah, you're pulling it. Oh. Turn. Okay. By the way, uh, he's the judge here. He's gonna tell us who would make better tea towering. Oh my god! <laughs> half of it. Half of it. Half of it. Oh my god! Oh my god! This is not easy, no. Oh my god! I'm so scared to pour now. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry to make up the mess here. That one doesn't look like a drink. <laughs> right. Okay. Would you like to try my one first? I, I, I should try. Yeah. Ah, it's good. Oh, it's good. So now, baseball. I shall try this. Oh, of course, that's better. Nah. <laughs> yeah? Oh my god, I have no money to pay you, you know that. I can't give you an upgrade of first class. <laughs> The first class bedding is very comfortable, while the seat width is adequate. I do think it is narrower than the A380 where the first class is located on the main deck. However, look at the privacy. With just four seats in this mini cabin, I think I have my own little world here. It's, uh, it's really, really long actually, um, so it's good for people more than six foot like me. Hi, good morning, Mr. Sam. Hi. Uh, you had a good rest? Um, well, you know, due to my body clock in London, London's right now is in the evening. We took off in the morning, now it's in the evening. I didn't sleep that long, but um, certainly had a comfortable seat here. I'm a bit hungry now, I'm ready for breakfast. Malaysia Airlines. Like, I'm very happy to have this because this is a very famous dish 
I think every passenger should have this one for their breakfast. Selamat datang kepada orang Malaysia. Saya Irwan penyelia perbangan ini daripada London ke Kuala Lumpur. Welcome to Malaysia Airlines. I'm Irwan from Selangor. I'm the in-flight supervisor today from London to Kuala Lumpur. I'm Kathy, flight stewardess from Malaysia Airlines. Hello, I'm from Malaysia Airlines. Hello, I'm Kathy. Hello, I'm Hasliza. Welcome to Malaysia Airlines. Hello, I'm Adrian from Kuching, Sarawak. Hello, I'm Adrian from Kuching, Sarawak. Welcome on board to Malaysia Airlines. Hello, I'm Kamiya Anak, Sarawak. My name is Astro Alicia. Welcome on board. Abang-abang semua, saya Sampai Brian Chui, berasal dari Pelayu Utara, Malaysia. Hi, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Sampai Brian Chui, and welcome to the home of Malaysian hospitality. Hi, I'm Sharon. I'm the flight supervisor on MH3 London Kuala Lumpur. Welcome home to Malaysian hospitality. You know why I'm coming on board is because of your wonderful hospitality. I always like Malaysia because people are so relaxed and so nice. There's so much great food. And best of all, the Malaysian hospitality. This is exactly why I'm coming on board with you guys. It's such a pleasure. Thank you so much for flying with me. Thank you so much. Thank you. Peace to everybody. We'll this see you again soon. Amazing, please. amazing hospitality. Yeah. Thank you Our so much. Pleasure. Well guys, I have an amazing flight with Malaysia Airlines from London. The Malaysian hospitality starts when you step inside a Malaysia Airlines flight. So this is very much evident in the video. You can see the staff, they embrace this Malaysian hospitality attitude. It is really good for a customer experience point of view. And I really hope that the transformation program Malaysia Airlines continues. So in the near future, this airline can make the nation, can make all the Malaysia and their guests proud again. Thank you very much for watching. Terima kasih dan jumpa lagi.